A friend of the show got inducted into a Hall of Fame over the weekend. NASCAR veteran racer Jeff Bodine was inducted to the Bobsled and Skeleton Hall of Fame for his contributions with the Bodine Project Bobsled Project that helped the U.S. Olympic teams capture the gold medal in the 2010 Vancouver Olympics at the four-man race. Bodine raced in NASCAR from 1979 to 2011, including a Daytona 500 victory in 1986 and an all-star race victory in 1994. You know, guys, I, hearing you talk about that, that news, Dominic, I, I'm, I'm surprised that Jeff Bodine is not in our NASCAR Hall of Fame yet. I'm, I'm surprised by that because, man, the, 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 uh, Man, the, him and Dale Earnhardt, man, they're uh, they're uh, back and forth rivalry for all those years was a big deal, and that was was amazing. I think you know the history of Jeff, and correct me if I'm wrong. I think Hendrick Motorsports was going to shut down, and he put he put a Hendrick Chevrolet in Victory Lane in Martinsville. I could be wrong, and and they was able to keep keep going, and now look at what what become of Hendrick Motorsports after after Jeff kept them in line. Just think what would have happened if uh, Jeff Bodine wouldn't have won that race when he won it. You know, there might may not have ever, ever been a Hendrick Motorsports. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but that's pretty cool. I know uh, uh, Jeff was really uh, uh, instrumental in the new bo the bobsled that we use, a uh, USA team uses today in the Olympics. And that's cool that 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 uh, that he was inducted into their Hall of Fame, and uh, I'm just sad that he is not in our NASCAR Hall of Fame. And I'm sure that's not too far in the future that we'll see that. Well, David, I was talking with Tyler before this before the show, and I've talked to my brother at length about this. And I, I don't know, I, I'm curious your take. You too, Barry, and for, feel free to weigh in on this. But any Hall of Fame, not just NASCAR, but any kind of professional Hall of Fame. I think a good rule of thumb, yeah, stats are important and, and contributions are definitely important, but can you tell that industry or that sports history with or without that person? And if you can answer that question, if you can't tell that history or that story of that industry or sport without that person or individual, they belong in the Hall of Fame. And I think just alone, like with what you said in that Martinsville victory, that alone should get Jeff in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and something else, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff's a great guy and a great friend. But Jeff was also, uh, he's also responsible for some of the safety stuff that's, that saves and, and, and just from a safety standpoint, a lot of things that he engineered, developed that we use today that, that keep us, all us race car drivers safe. Uh, just on that part, he should be in the Hall of Fame, you know, not, you look at his accolades and the wins and the championships and the Daytona 500. Uh, uh, man, he just, he did, it really did a, a lot in our sport. And, uh, you know, he, when he, when he retired out of the sport, man, he, uh, he really, he really made his mark on it. And, uh, I'm, again, I'm surprised that he's not already in the hall of fame. Well, uh, you look at some of the guys that are not in the hall of fame right now. Um, you know, we mentioned Jeff Bodine. Jeff Burton, also not in the Hall of Fame. Ricky Rudd, not in the Hall of Fame. Um, we know Matt Kenseth is about to be inducted, but correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Dom, uh, Buddy Baker also one of those. <coughs> you know, if you talk about most most deserving, if it's, let's say, let's narrow it down between those four, unless I'm missing somebody else. Buddy Baker, Jeff Bodine, Jeff Burton, and Ricky Rudd. Um are all of those Hall of Fame caliber drivers? And if so, which ones go in first, you think, Devin? For me, it would be Buddy Baker and, and Jeff Bodine, no doubt about it. You know, uh, Buddy Baker, Bobby Allison. Oh, and Carl Edwards, too. Yeah, Edwards is not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, you said Carl Edwards? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I look at the guys uh, like Buddy Baker and, and Jeff Bodine and some of those guys, uh, you know, they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame now. I, I would say before a Jeff Burton or a Carl Edwards, uh, you know, just because, man, they they really, uh, through the 60s and 70s and, and in the 80s, they really paved the way 
kind of kind of really uh, was inter- instrumental in really getting the sport to to where it's at today. Uh, you know, uh, from a safety standpoint, uh, the way the cars race, how they were built, the engineering of them. I mean, just man, Buddy Baker is a big name. Uh, unfortunately, you know, he died five or six years ago with some type of cancer, but I was a big fan of his. I remember reading a lot of books about Buddy and, and really his career was unbelievable. And for him not to be in the hall of fame again, like Jeff Bodine, I'm kind of shocked, you know, and some of the people that are already there, uh, you know, I would have thought they'd have put Jeff Bodine in or Bob, uh, or, Buddy Baker, Baker in before some of the ones that are in there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how that the process of procedure works for that type of stuff, but but it is kind of shocking that those two names aren't aren't in the Hall of Fame already. Uh, what about you, Barry? Uh, what do you think? Uh, who's who's not in? You think that should be in? Uh, David, no, uh, and so I, I'm kind of <laughs> serious about that. You know, it's it's it, so let's take a look at the Hall of Fame, and there's a lot of people that are very famous. They're always on the front of the the videos and everything like that when you're watching TV, and and they're they're famous people, and they they're good for the sport, and people can rally around them and enjoy them. But I'll tell you what, if after me being in that in the sport for as long as I've been, you know, the people there, I, I was down one time in Charlotte, and there's this group of guys there. And they didn't have the same suits on. They had an old junkie toolbox, and it was just they, they were just there, just enjoying themselves and racing at the core. And I walked up to them and I said, "You guys having fun down here?" He says, "Yeah, we're having the most fun down here. All of them. There's people in the Hall of Fame that uh, that are famous, and that constitutes the Hall of Fame. But to me, the people that are are famous or that should be are are the people in the sport that have been there for a long time. David, how long you been in the sport?" I mean, like and, forever, and and you, I, I watched you walk out. Uh, you were walking out one time, and and this is when I fell in love with you. You were walking out one time, and there's this kid sitting there, and he's asking for an autograph. And I'm watching the people walk by. You stop. You kneel down. You sign an autograph. You talk to him a little bit, and then you go on. You know, there there are people in the in the industry that the Hall of Fame is not just about winning. It's about what you're doing and what you're living. So if they look at the living side of that and they put it in there, I think that that would be a lot more beneficial to everybody understand what racing is all about. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting to hear you speak about that, uh, Barry, because I mean, you think of Jimmy Means, uh, you think of, uh, you know, there's a lot of them that made a living racing cars. They wouldn't the normal guys that you saw in victory lane week in and week out. In fact, a lot of them never even won a NASCAR race ever, but, but they were, they were uh, a, a permanent fixture in the sport for years. They were stand up, great ethical people uh, that just had a big passion for NASCAR racing, you know, but, uh, but, you know, it, uh, you know, there's lots, lots of those guys out there. I mean, just a guy I used to drive for, my good friend Carl Long. You know, you, you look at what he did as a driver and as a team owner. You know, there's so many, so many great stories of different people in our sport. And, and you know, if, if you sometimes we're so busy at times, it's hard to slow down sometimes and really talk to get to know some of these, uh, some of these people. But it's amazing. Uh, there's so many people deserving deserving of being in the Hall of Fame that right. never even won a NASCAR well, race before. 